Hey YouTube, alright, this is your girl Nikki and I am coming to you with a that's that ish I don't like video. So I've seen a lot of people on YouTube actually doing their videos of the things that they don't like so I decided to come on here and give you like my top 10, although there are a lot of things that I don't like, I'm just going to give my top 10 things that I don't like. Um, today not doing a whole lot with the makeup, pretty plain face, just cocoa butter. Uh, I am wearing the Dollhouse Pink from Wet and Wild. I'm loving this pink right now. Um, and just, I just have like a, um, just some gold, um, on my, just some gold shadow from, um, NYX. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just simple face for today. Um, so I'll go ahead and I have a little list for so, so I don't forget, but I'll go ahead and just get right into it. So the first thing that I don't like is when people RSVP to your event, when they know they are not going to show up, like, why would you even RSVP? If you know that you already have something planned and you know that, or even if you know you have no intentions of even coming it's no point in you just posting up on my page or, or you know, a page that you're going to be there and you know you're not going to come. I don't like that. Um, I feel like it, you know, if now if something comes up and you can't make it, I still feel like it's common courtesy just to say, hey, you know, I really can't make it. Or you don't give a definite yes um, because you know something may come up. You know what I'm saying? It's just if you can make it, you can make it. But, yeah, that's something I don't like. Um... The second thing I don't like, I don't like know-it-alls. Yes, them people that no matter what you tell them, even if you've looked it up, you Googled it, you know, you've experienced it yourself. Like, you know what you're saying is the truth because it ha even if it happened to you, someone who would sit there and tell you that he, even what happened to you did not happen and is not the truth. I don't like people like that. Like, if I'm telling you something... I'm telling you because I experienced it and it's what happened to me. You can't tell me what happened to me. I don't like that. <laughs> um, the third thing that I don't like is I don't like when people say, hmm, dang, baby, you too pretty. Why are you single? Okay, so... Does that mean only ugly people should be single? Like, I could just want to be single by choice or maybe God hasn't sent, you know, me the right person. But what does the way that I look, why does the way that I look, you know, make a big difference in regards to me being single or not? Like, cute people are single nowadays, you know? I mean, it just happens. Uh it doesn't, I mean, there's no law or anything in the Bible or book or anything that says if you're happen to be a cute person that you should always have somebody. You know, sometimes it's just best to just take your time. Just because you're cute doesn't mean you need to go out here and throw your, your, your body into somebody else or just throw yourself into somebody else's arms. You know, I'm single because I want to be single right now. Um, when I feel like dating or if I meet someone, then I meet someone, but I don't like that. I don't like people feel like, oh, because you're cute, that that means you should automatically be dating somebody or something like that. Or they judge you when they don't even know your story. Um, the fourth thing I don't like, if y'all can tell one other thing, though, sidetrack. I love the color purple. I'm always wearing purple no matter what. My favorite ring, purple nail polish. Purple. I wore a purple sweater today. I don't have anything extra. Just a nice sweater and some black slacks because it was extremely cold here in the D.C. Um, so yeah. But back to that. Um, the fourth thing I don't like. Sprint 3G service. On the iPhone. Now, the iPhone to me, I'm assuming, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm now team iPhone. I've always had a droid or some, or a smartphone, something like that, but I never, I never wanted to step into the iPhone realm. I just felt like it was like all this hype and, you know, it was just one too expensive. So, um, my birthday was just on the 4th, so I wanted to get my, I turned 30, Amy. So I wanted to, you know, get myself something, you know, just to, I don't know, I guess a gift for my 30th, um. And, sorry, um, 
I got an iPhone. Now, I was Team T-Mobile uh, for a long time, since like 2007, but I kind of got tired with their services, like keep dropping calls and all of that nature, whatever. So, I am now Team Sprint, and they have the iPhone, and their 3G service is whack. When you come from T-Mobile's 4G to Sprint 3G, it... <laughs> It almost makes you want to pull your hair out because you'll be sitting there for something to upload. It's like that, not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers type, you know, effect. Like, you just know it's just going to take forever. You might as well just sit down, just let it do what it do. You know, just certain features that you want to use with the phones. You just really can't because it's so slow to the point where I find myself just like making phone. All I want to do is just talk. As long as I can make a phone call, you know, I'm fine. Um, So, yeah. Sprint, they really, really, really need to upgrade to 4G service. That's, I don't like that. I don't like this slow service. Um, the fifth thing that I don't like is, um, <laughs> don't get me, but when people upload all of their old pictures when they were smaller, uh, I don't know if it's like, uh, uh, back down memory lane type of effect, you know, but. When you keep trying to upload all of your smaller pictures and making them seem like they're your newer pictures, but when people see you, you ain't that small no more and you don't wear that size 4 or that size 6, you about a 16 or a 10, I have nothing against the big one, but I just feel like it's a bit deceiving when, you know, you are like flooding my timeline with your old pictures of a body that you don't even have no more. I don't like that. Um, the sixth thing that I don't like. Um, I don't like when women, pretty women, young, young teens, whatever. I don't like when women in general, men too, but I'm just speaking for my ladies. I don't like when women take pictures and they pose flipping the bird. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't know. I, I don't want to show it, but I don't like when they do that. I think that is so tacky like why do that like you, you you're dressed very nice and you're looking really cute and then you in your picture you got the bird for you know just the bird right up there in front of your face like i don't know i just don't get the analogy of that like why do that that's just not classy to me so i don't like that um the seventh thing i don't like i don't like excessive makeup i don't like it when you wear makeup or, you know, when women wear makeup so much, definitely, I mean, and I know this happened for Caucasian women and stuff like that, but for my African-American women, like, we are already beautiful. Like, our skin is just beautiful. So, for me, I just don't like it when people wear so much makeup to when they take it off, they look scary because you don't know what they, you know, you're so used to seeing them with the makeup to when they take it off, they just look like dead. They look like death. Um, I don't wear makeup a lot when I go. This is basically how I go to work a lot. If I'm going out, like to the club or out to dinner or on a date or something like that, I will put makeup on. But other than that, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't dibble dabble with the, with the whole lot of makeup. I just feel like it's just too much. And when you wear the whole lot, your face starts to become dependent on it. You get, you know, abrasions, all that stuff in your face. I'm not, I don't, I don't like that. I'm a cocoa butter, dove soap uh warm water type of person like that's just what i do warm water cocoa butter lip gloss do my eyebrows out the door um so yeah the eighth thing i don't like i heard this video up i don't like when <laughs> when girls do their do their hair and you can just actually see their weft like they don't really do a good job at trying to hide their weft i don't like that i think that that's extremely tacky like if I know when you look in the mirror, you can see it. Trust me, other people can see it too. If you can see it, someone else can see it, which means when you put extensions in your hair, it's meant to be hidden. You want it to have that illusion that is yours. And even if people know that it's not yours, you still want to give that illusion that it's yours. Showing your track piece or your weft piece, the, the lining and all that, not the business. I don't like that. <clears throat> Ninth thing I don't like, yo low. When people use that yellow definition that you only live once to make excuses for the crazy things that they do in life, like spend your rent check, um, spend all your checkup on your bills and stuff, and then say, oh, YOLO or whatever, you only live once or whatever. No, 
Granted, yes, we do only live once, but however, we are continuing to live. So you do want to plan it and save a little for the future. That YOLO thing, not cool. I don't like that. The last thing that I don't like, I don't like when people portray that they have it all when they don't. Posting pictures of something that somebody else bought you. Um, always talking about things that you have. Girl, you know, I just got this Gucci bag. And, oh, yeah, let's go over here to Neiman Marcus. And, you know, oh, yeah, I just got these Christian Louboutins. But you go home with no lights. Don't like that. You know, we all, you know, if you can purchase Louboutins, um, Louboutins, and if you can purchase, um, um, um Gucci bags and 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 stuff like that that's perfectly fine if you can't it's perfectly fine there are always alternative measures but to be out here portraying that you have it all when you know that you don't and you like one paycheck away from being out on the street or you almost on your way on the street and you trying to um rob Peter to pay Paul to stay in your in your where you live at that's craziness to me I don't like that. It ain't no point in faking. I've always been a real person. If I don't have it, I don't have it. Plain and simple. I'm not pressing walking around with some red bottoms on my feet. If I can, I can. I, I mean, I don't really like Gucci bags that have the symbols and all that stuff on. I'm not a, I'm not a symbol person. If I were to ever purchase a Gucci bag, to me walking around, I mean, walking around with thousands of dollars in, in, in regards to a bag, that's not really my thing. I don't hate on people that can do it. At some point, I probably will do it, but. There are just certain things that I just feel like you need to be focused on. Like, yes, you do only live once or whatever like that. But you want to be able to enjoy your life. And walking around here portraying to be something that you not trust me. It always comes to the forefront. Somebody will always be able to tell and they will see it at some point. So, just keep it real. That is my 10 things I don't like. Um, you want to comment? Comment. Other than that, um, peace out.